This is an edit from the drama show on Phonic FM. The uh, computer wasn't working, uh, so I couldn't edit in at the time little sound clips, uh, extracts from YouTube. But I hope this will make a bit of sense. They do appear probably in the right places in this version. The um, local relevance of all of this is that there's going to be a, a conference about digital universities in Exeter University, middle of April. And the, I, as I said, I haven't got, I haven't got my Twitter in at the moment, otherwise I'd tweet a, tweet a link to it, but I think you, you will find it. If you, if, if you go to the um, Times Higher Education website, THE, you'll find it or I've linked to it on Twitter will789gb and I I think the MOOC, the MOOC scene um, how, how how relevant that that'll be I'm not I'm not sure but I noticed that uh, Coursera and FutureLearn are both part of the promotion I think that's what it is their, their logo turns up anyway I'll try, I'll try and find out more about what they're what they're doing um but i it's it's just it's just interesting what what the what the point of view is about the mooc or whatever the mooc became or whatever words are used about it um because Ud udacity started out very much as part of that scene 2012 i think not sure if I, I'll, I'll, I'll check out more more on dates at some point um, but I can't I can't play it now. But if you if you look on YouTube for Exeter expertise, why the public sector urgently needs to embrace society's digital transformation, it's posted by University of Exeter Business School on YouTube. I'll read that again. You have to type in all these words, and you'll find it. Exeter expertise. Why the public sector urgently needs to embrace society's digital transformation. Because um, I have I have got permission to use a couple of, of sound clips from that. They're both both about a minute, um, but I'll play them next week, assuming the technology is working, um, or I might put them into a tweet somewhere. Um, the the first one does include universities as part of the public sector which I think is is very welcome um, because otherwise it, it, it just can sometimes appear that that universities or academics offer opinions and guidance uh, about all sorts of things but the, the nature of the campus is pretty much fixed no, nothing much is going to change so for example investment continues in in buildings rather than future learn or something like that industries that are most siloed really really struggle so if we think about the structure of our public services we've got 430 councils each surrounded by health social care police ambulance third sector and housing at the front end they do myriad things but at the back end they all do pretty much versions of the same thing right they make and receive payments they check your identity they do licensing they do registration they do hr and processing and case management and again and again and again and they don't even do them right their supplier communities do it salami slicing flogging them different versions of the same thing. Same with our 650 NHS trusts, of course. Same with our 43 police forces. Dare I say 130 something universities. We yeah. could go on 1,500 social housing providers, all of whom have this terrible baggage of this historical inertia generated by all of these pretty redundant processes it's got to be said so you know if you were an alien now you would look upon the way that we run our public services where the things that citizens care about doctors teachers nurses daycare centers social workers roads parks libraries are being cut 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 to the bone and some councils are going out of business we are now having a national discussion of course about our 55 billion deficit and we're finding now that the nhs appears to be on the brink of collapse and yet here's one searing question for you toby let's take health imagine that we could quantify put a number on the um so that, that we, it hasn't got far into that sort of discussion but i'm, I'm, I'm just sort of 
seeing that that's that's a possible question at least that could be could be asked as to what will be the consequence of this um, conference and, and discussion but then the the other one is um, looking at local radio stations and um, sees heart as a as a model because they've centralized so many things and that's apparently much more efficient than having a lot of local studios all with their own um, HR department or accounting system or whatever um, I'm not I'm not quite sure about that I, I think I think phonic FM um, it's got or for example and there's there's other ones as well uh, Devon Air is it one of, one of one of my stations has disappeared there's another one turned up regional radio stations hard fm exeter hard fm london hard fm hertfordshire whatever and if you're listening to hard fm in one of those regional stations you get local weather local djs local advertising local traffic local gossip local stuff for local people brilliant except of course heart fm isn't daft enough to also run 45 local back-end offices with each of their finance systems and recruitment and crms and you get the picture right it's all centralized in some tin shed in who cares i don't care as a listener to heart fm and yet heart fm is able to deliver to me local services tailored to my local needs now that's a simplified solution but the idea is where there is no public value in differentiation and producing different stuff, in other words, is it really important that my local hospital in Exeter has a different customer relationship management system or patient administration system than one in Leeds? Of course it's not. Patients don't care about that. So, um, so you can say, yes, yeah, so it's all very complicated, but um, there's, there's, a, there's a benefit in it of some kind. But then again, maybe maybe if, the, if there was technology in the cloud that just worked and there was a mobile device I, I mean, okay I've got my phone with me so in theory if I understood it a bit more I could just plug my phone in somehow I, I shall talk to Chris later on during the world show um, about the bits and pieces I should understand and maybe one day um, it might be a tablet or some sort of device there will be a, a mobile device that every presenter can have with them wherever they go recording sound or plugging into a radio desk seamlessly all controlled by uh, some very nice people near Reading who have a, a reliable system uh, some, I, it's possible I, if there's any, anybody listening from Devon or West Country Radio um, that have got ideas about this. Uh, that would that be interesting because it's 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 all made up of little clips, bits and bits and pieces. Um, I shall play another another track from 